All right. And once we have all the structure in place now, of course, let's worry about our hero. And essentially what I want is some kind of div with a background and for that background, we'll use the image and then we'll also place a text in the center. And as far as the HTML, we want to go to index HTML. So of course, this is going to be our home page. And then inside of the main, let's just add here a comment. Let's say that we're going to be looking for the header element here. And then let's go with the actual header element with a class of hero. And inside of it, we're going to go with hero container and hero text. And you'll see in the CSS why we have this nested structure. So let's go with hero container. And then inside of that hero container, we're going to go with hero text. And then in there, we'll place the heading one with some kind of text. Again, in my case, it's going to be simply recipes. And then right below it, we'll go with a subtitle. And that one will be no fluff, no fluff, just recipes. And once we have the HTML in place, now, of course, we want to navigate to main CSS. Let's open up the main CSS here. We have already a comment. So let's just say here, hero, I guess. And before we do anything, maybe let's just copy and paste. So we don't worry about the next one. So copy and paste. And then let's just say here, hero. And in here, I just want to set up some kind of height for my hero. And I guess I'm going to go with height of 40 view heights. Essentially, I get 40% of the screen. So let's go with height. And once we have that, let's add that background. So let's go over here with background URL, and we'll be looking for the image. And in this case, I'm looking in the assets, and we'll go with main JPEG. But of course, we want to place it in the center, we want to make sure it covers everything. And also that there's no repetition, of course, we can do it long way. But there's also a shortcut where we go to center cover. And then we set it equal to no repeat. So once we do that, of course, we should see the image. Now, what I want is to add a border radius. So I want rounded edges. And I also want to add a little bit of margin in the bottom. So let's go here with margin bottom, and we'll set it equal to two REMs. And also, I want to add that border radius. So let's just go with border radius and set it equal to our border radius global property. Now, in order to set up the look where I have a text right in the center. And as you notice here, the background is actually a little bit darker. So there is some kind of overlay on the image, we'll actually set this one as position relative, position relative, and then the hero center. So this enclosing div, this is where we'll set up position absolute. And then we'll use display flex to place a text in the center. So let's keep scrolling. And we're going to go with hero container. And like I said, we're going to go with position absolute. And since the parent is position relative, now, of course, we're setting up everything based on a parent. And then in here, I just want to have a width of 100% height of 100%. And then let's just set up top and left to be equal to zero. So top and left, both are equal to zero. And once we have all of this in place, now, of course, let's add that overlay. And we do that by going with background. And then we're looking for RGBA. And I'm just going to go with 0, 0, 0, 0 0.4. So RGBA, now this gives me 0 0.04. That's not what I want. So essentially, notice how the background right now is darker. So we added the overlay on top of the image. And of course, if we go really dark, then of course, it's going to be harder to see the image. So therefore, I go here with RGBA. And as a result, I can nicely control this color. So the darker you'll go here, of course, the darker the overlay is going to be. And the reason why we want to set that up is because if we don't do that, then of course, with white text, it's going to be hard to see the text. That's why we want to set up the image, we want to add the overlay, and we want to add some dark color to it. And then we'll make the text white. So right after the background, we can probably go with border radius, since at the moment, our image has the border radius, but not the container. So let's go with border radius. And we'll set it equal to the border radius property. 
And then if I want to place the text in the center, we want to go with display flex align item center. So that's going to be for vertical and just for content he is going to be for horizontal center. And then we want to target the hero text. So that's going to be a div inside of that container. So hero text and let's just set up text align center because you notice even though the hero text is in the center, the actual text inside of it is not. Therefore, we go text align and we set it equal to center. So now, of course, everything is in the center. And let's also add that white color. So let's go with our CSS variable. And of course, the name is white. And then the very last thing that I want to add is the media query for 768 pixels. And once we get to that screen size, I want to make the font size for heading one four REMs and set the margin bottom to be equal to zero. So in here, let's go with media screen. And of course, we're looking for some kind of value. In this case, I'm going to go with and min width and 768 pixels. And once we get to the screen size, like I said, we're going to go with hero text and heading one. And let's just go with font size for REMs. And then let's set up the margin bottom to be equal to zero. And once we have everything in place, let's navigate here. And this is going to be the look on a big screen. And if we make this smaller, of course, this is going to be the look on a small screen. Now, as always, I'm massively zoomed in. So technically, if you take a look at the small screen, it's going to look something like this. And once we have our hero in place, now, of course, we can focus on our recipes where we'll have two column layout on one side. We'll have the tags and then on the other side, we'll have the cards. 